What's up, everybody? A CEO, the money maker, the ass taker, Storm Allen, baby. Guys, we all know about AI. I think everybody's mom, dad, sister, and uncle know about AI now, guys. Uh, we use it on a daily basis. We use it in school. A lot of people use it on research. A lot of people, like myself, use it as creative ideas. So guys, I asked uh, uh, ChatGBT, the most popular AI, 10 potential updates they could add to Clash of Clans or features to Clash of Clans for this year. And this is the answer they gave me, guys. I'm not going to lie, guys. The number nine choice was beautiful. And I think Clash of Clans need to take a look on this list, guys. So make sure you like that video so uh, Supercell can see this video, guys, and get pushed out. I don't think anybody has ever made this video before, guys. So without further ado, let's jump on into the video. So as you guys can see, we're in chat GBT. So let's say um, 10 updates or features, features to add to Clash of Clans 24. Uh, boom, boom. After that, after that, a thorough research, grade A journalist research, I compiled all my data together and I picked out my 10 favorite points that ChatGBT came up with, guys. So number one, hero skin customization. Hey guys, so we recently had um, hero equipment. Uh, so this is pretty cool. Allow players to customize the appearance of their heroes with skins providing a unique visual touch. Um, I would like to expand on this. I think it means like customizing individual parts of your hero. The fact the fact that we ha added hero equipment to the game, I say we don't even need to customize um, individual parts of the hero. Just make e each hero equipment more noticeable. So if the king has the quake boots on, you can see you can either decide if you want to turn on the visuals for the quake boots so you see the quake boots on his feet if the archer has the giant arrow you have like a giant arrow in the holster and once it gets fired the giant arrow disappears um that's an interesting take on how i think it could be done the giant godlike could be on the king's hand and it's bigger but you you have the option to turn these visuals on or off since you don't want to spoil your already beautiful skin you might have uh, so that's a good option by ChatGPT. Number two, and I love this one. We got clan war, uh, clan war tournaments. Implement competitive clan war tournaments with rewards for top performing clans. I know it's pretty similar to clan war league where the top clan gets to perform, but why not let's a single bracket tournament where each clan that makes it to the end uh, gets huge more rewards. You just get one shot, not seven days of fighting. Let's say it's just a bracket. Let's say 14 clans. The top two clan will compete. Whoever beats this clan, simple single bracket, and you can watch it all in re real time. Watch the other clans attack. That would be pretty fun to me. It's like uh, setting up a Clash of Clans tournament where the pros get to do, but we just make it for every single clan. I like that idea. Number three, we have base skins. Introduce customizable base skins to give players more options for personalizing their village. I think this is by adding, um, well, to to, re, to reiterate or add on to it, I think it means like having more customizability to your base. So being able to, let's say, change the north side of the base without changing the south side, changing the west side, um, adding a simple decoration on the base, on the side part of the scenery, uh, changing other sceneries, you know, customizable sceneries. That's not too bad. I like that idea. It makes you your base have a more unique touch towards it. And that's why it's number three. Coming in at four, we have the alliance system. Expand social features with an alliance system, allowing multiple clans to form an alliance for collaborate events and channel challenges i like the alliance system guys uh i've seen havoc done a video on this where you might have two clans and you can't even talk to both the cl your clan members at the same time you might be a popular youtuber popular streamer or you just might be really good at the game uh you know what subscribe I don't know why I said that, but uh, you might be good at the game and you want to talk to everybody at once. Having that alliance where we can have a chat, where something similar to global chat, not, not the same like global, but just like, let's say you can combine five clans in one when it comes on the chat, not the war, 
but in one it's just chill supercell listen listen your boy's talking ceo i'm richer than elon musk bro you work for me i digress all right number five this is cool dynamic obstacle spawning make obstacles on the village map more dynamic changing them periodically to keep the environment fresh so let's say you have an obstacle that's uh when you use a specific scenery it changes or it just changes for if you're on the game you see it change that would be pretty cool but it should be a feature where you can turn it off because i don't know some people's system can't handle it but for example the waterfall you can see the water move you have this obstacle uh, a, a dragon trophy where it flies in a circle uh, that would be pretty cool i like that option um pretty cool bro i said pretty cool so many times i'm i'm so terrible in vocabulary Please forgive me. Your mom loves me. Coming on number six, we I think on number six we have art, artificial systems introduced. Uh, introduce artificial art artifacts. Oh my bad, guys. Number six artifacts system. Introduce artifacts that players can discover or earn, providing temporary boost to troops, defenses, or resources. Um. I think this is an interesting one. It's something similar to the giant god that we were given this event, but I guess it's like artifacts where you can win training potions. Uh, I don't know how they would implement this one. This one's probably a hit or miss for most people. I don't think they have to introduce any artifacts, but it's it's just a little thing. Let's say you run them on a village and uh, there's a little artifact somewhere. If you if you destroy the village, you get a hundred percent. You don't know about the challenges, or you just destroy a random. Uh, building and you get something that would be kind of cool i like that idea uh they don't have to implement this one but it's an interesting take to keep the game fresh or add it for an event that would be a pretty cool event uh coming at number seven we got base export um export and import allow players to share their base layouts with the clan members or import popular layouts to encourage strategic discussions uh, i like this idea you can you definitely can share your base how it looks but i like the idea of being able to share it in the clan chat guys um they've implemented this a little bit they are working on it but i'd like to see more ways to add it to the game they recently announced the game on pc but we can't import or export bases on pc or we can't even copy bases on get bases off the internet and paste them to the pc it won't launch the game you have to use your phone so i wish they would fix that number eight this is great we have dynamic weather effects add weather effects implementing ba um, impacting battles like rain reducing visibility or snow slowing down troop movements i like this idea of adding a uh, weather elements i'm not sure if i impacting battle is my favorite I don't think I would like it to impact battle, but I would love the idea of the weather being changed. Sometimes you know it's morning, it's evening on based on where you are. It's night, sometimes it's it's raining, but also that impacting battle is pretty interesting because let's say it's raining, uh, you know your fire troops are more weaker, adding that, that bit of complex to the game. I know they're not trying to make it too complex because Supercell wants their game to be... Um, uh, playable for everybody but i do like the idea of dynamic weather and number nine which is my favorite interactive clan games i feel like clan games are a hit or a miss for some people it doesn't feel like it, you're working together as a clan and what chat gbc gbt said about this is add interactive elements to clan games allowing clans to compete against each other for additional rewards i love that idea let's say we race to who can get to forty thousand uh points first who can do this challenge first how many people in this clan can do that challenges and if you beat the other the opposite clan you get some bonus because you get some bonus that's clan games you're competing against other clans i love that idea and i wish supercell yeah introduce this idea to the game but coming in at number 10 we have weekly challenges implement weekly challenges with challenges with specific objects for extra rewards encouraging regular engagement i feel like um we have clan games clan raids 
uh clan war league and then that's it the little stupid challenges where you build like five dragons uh, i feel like they need to do a huge overall on that do a weekly challenge every single week that would be very interesting to me doing different challenges every week every week we get uh let's say a village built by a like uh a village raid by a professional streamer a professional uh, professional clash of clan creator and then they do it every week where they rotate out put in different bases and we'll compete for it i love that idea guys all right so guys comment down below that is number 10 that is it comment down below your favorite uh feature that you think they should add to the game or